What up you guys? I'm back with another video. If you don't know who I am, I am Nando. Welcome to another video you guys. Today's video is very interesting as you can see by the title below or up here if you do it full screen. I'm gonna tell you the time. This is really scary actually. So get your coffee, your popcorn, your soda, whatever, cause this is gonna be a very interesting uh, story time. So basically I'm gonna tell you guys a story. When I went to the cemetery at nighttime. <laughs> yeah, I know you guys are like, Nando, you is crazy. First, before we even get into this video, what I need y'all to do is Smack that subscribe button, like this video, and hit that bell to be notified when I upload new video. Always remember, be you, do you, stay you, no matter what. Don't let anyone ruin your dreams or your desires. You are the only one that can manifest them into life. It was, I remember, it was on, it was in summertime. I was driving, we went to Connecticut. It was just like, we were spending the day driving. We went out, we went to eat, and we had literally... They came up with the idea, I'm like, oh, we in Connecticut, why not, let's go see Ed and Lorraine Warren, their grave. If you know who's Ed and Lorraine Warren, they are known paranormal activity investigators back then in the day. Those are the people that they do the conjuring, the insidious, and even, I think, Annabelle too. I'm not mistaken. Uh, Ed and Lorraine Warren is the two couples. They, you know, married each other. They had kids. And they were a par uh, investigating team. They did a lot of crazy, when I say crazy, investigations. Like, this is no lie. This is real. So, if you want, go watch this right here. Because I promise you, you're going to get so much information on them. It's crazy. I love them. We decided to go, and I realized that it was... I think a, I think of like an hour or two hour drive from where I was at going back to the city. So I was like, you know what, let's go. It was me, Alex, and her brother. And I was like, you know what, I want to do this. Let's go. It will be fun. As I'm driving, I look up the destination and it took me to where I wanted to go. But there was a little confusion. I don't know if it was because of the map or it just wasn't meant for me to go and I kept pushing it. So I was driving, we get there and it's like getting so dark, like so dark quickly. It wasn't even like slowly, no, it was getting dark fast. So when we got there, it's like, it was nothing but trees, like trees, okay? And then I was like, wait, but it kept saying on the address that we was there, like on the GPS, it kept saying we was there, we was at the destination, so I'm like, this is weird. I go into like this, like this little alleyway to make a U-turn because the road, it was one side going up and the other side coming down. So I had to literally go to, <laughs> go to the alleyway, make a U-turn. And I'm guessing these people were playing Randall Nautica or something because they were in the dark. It was like four of them. It was two guys and two girls. I was like, what in the world? So I was like, okay. I put the, I put the, um, address again but for some but for some reason when i drove up more it led me to a whole nother way which was weird i put it in and i followed the directions i kept going so i get there and we in front of the cemetery when i say we in front of the cemetery we was in front and when i say i caught the chills like even just pulling up i caught the chills like my body was just getting all goosebumps and i was like oh my goodness I want to go because I know their grave is there. So she's buried there with her husband also. And not only that, to top it off, it's a haunted cemetery. Haunted. So that means it wasn't a normal cemetery. It was haunted that there was a lot of like ghost stories. There was a lot of, there's a lot of paranormal activities. I wasn't going there to do any paranormal investigation at all. <laughs> I was literally just going there just to see her because it's a 24 hour cemetery. So I was like, okay crazy me you know let's go so we get there and then i'm realizing that there's no lights no lights in this cemetery we have to use our flashlight so if you guys seen a video back then i did like a little you know a little uh little video on uh us walking through there so you can see how dark is it i'm gonna try to find the clip where you guys see me literally walking <laughs> in the cemetery we look and we look in and as we're walking the energy just shifted like 
the energy was just I don't even know how to explain it like all my hairs were standing up like my hairs were like this it was the craziest thing and not only that Sign kept telling me don't don't keep walking don't keep walking just you know go back go home don't just don't I don't know why for some reason my inner self was telling me as I'm walking I didn't listen because I was like maybe it's because I'm too scared or whatever blase blah you know how when we get scared our inner self tell us no don't do it just go back so that's what my inner self was telling me but for some odd reason I kept walking and when I walked I don't know what like sign just told me to look to the corner and when I looked to the corner it was this this grave and this tree right I looked and when I look, so this is the tree, this is the grave. I do not know what, after I seen this, I should have left. I seen a figure go from one corner to the other. Dark, super dark, full figure. I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, I know we in the haunted cemetery, right? So at this point, it's nighttime. You know, the activity starts to amp up. It was just getting crazy. So I kept going and then it was this bush, like literally as in the walkway, it was the big cute bush. And I'm walking and I pass it and I look, there was nothing in the bush. Like you could see right through the bush. Why as I passed that bush, I heard a growl, like a really mean growl. Like the loudest growl I ever heard in my life. And it was the scariest thing ever. So I started, I kept walking. And then for some odd reason, I feel like the way I was going, I was going the wrong direction. So I wanted to keep going. But someone's telling me to go, turn back, don't go. And I'm realizing like, okay, I am going to listen to my inner self. Because when I looked to my right, there was like this one spot, literally, in the cemetery. That it was so dark like so dark i couldn't even see the light that was literally probably like a hundred feet away in the woods because there was houses behind it literally i couldn't see the light and i was like what in the world and it's like i had my flashlight on but it's like my flashlight it wasn't even shining as bright as i wanted to as like when i first came in it just started like dimming for some odd reason it was just dimming and I'm telling myself, you know what, Nando, just go back. So I'm walking back. Um, it was very scary. I didn't even get to see the grave because I wanted to. I just wanted to, you know, just go see because every YouTuber did it. I was like, you know what, since I love the paranormal, since I love haunted things, I wasn't going there for investigation. I was just going there just to see. And um, yeah, they also said about that, uh, that uh, cemetery. It's called the... Stephen Cemetery in Connecticut. So if you guys live in Connecticut and you want to go check it out, go at your own risk. I'm not telling you to, but just be careful because it's very haunted. Like I just felt it like the chills. And not only that, they say there's a, a lady in white that walks around in the cemetery. I don't know how true is it. But you guys could look up documentaries on this um on this cemetery. They will tell you it's crazy. I walk out or whatever. You know, I said a little prayer and for some odd reason, as I get out and after a while I'm driving, I felt this so weird. Like, I don't know what it was. I don't know if I was doing something wrong. I don't know, but I wasn't going in there for like any mean intentions or anything. I was just going in there just to see them say hi and leave. That's the only thing I was doing. Basically, when I got out after a few hours, I was driving. I was driving for like a, maybe 30 minutes or so. I felt it weird, like very weird. Like I felt it off, I didn't feel like myself. I was telling Alex, like I don't feel like myself. I just feel very weird, I feel drained, I feel tired and, and it was just the weirdest thing ever. Long story short, if you ask me, will I do it again? Maybe, depending, I don't even know cause this was very scary. Like this was like the most scariest thing I ever felt in my life. And it's not, I will say, do it because for the fun of it no don't do it because of the fun of it like i was just going to my intentions was just to go say hi and that's it but i guess because of the energy or whatever the case is in the cemetery you know there's a lot of energy unwanted energy is all mixed so it kind of felt it very unbearing for me and i was like yeah i would not <laughs> want to do this anymore um Will I ever do it at nighttime by myself? No, I will not. I won't do it again. Um, will I go during the day? Yes, I'll go during the day. But at night, no, because it's very 
they say, you know, when the sun falls, you know, energies, unwanted spirits come out to play. And I'm not, I'm not wanting to do that. So <laughs> that was like the most scariest like experience that I ever had and I would not want to do. And I advise you guys like, please don't do this because that feeling was a very, it was very bad. Like literally I had to pull over and pray because it was just like, it just felt it very weird. And literally after I prayed like 10 minutes later, I started to feel better. But would I ever do it again? No, I wouldn't <laughs> because it was, a, it was a scary moment. Like I don't know what I was thinking. I was young, you know, but I wouldn't do it again. But I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Always remember, be you, do you, stay no matter what. I'll see you on another video. Peace.